This one comes to us from the San Bernardino Sun.com and it's SBSun.com. A felony assault charge has been filed by the District Attorney's Office of San Bernardino County against a San Bernardino County Sheriff's Deputy who was videotaped kicking a suspect after he appeared to be surrendering in Victorville. And I did an editorial on this one. This is actually a follow-up to that cop. Deputy Corey Smith was charged October 20th with one count of assault under the color of authority. Court records show Smith is accused of assaulting Willie Jones in Victorville on June 16th of this year as Jones appeared to be surrendering following a pursuit. That's the one where he ran into the car lot and he was laying down like this waiting and the cop ran up and just kicked him in the head because you don't run from me, boy. This is my town. Yeah, well, you're about to go to court in your town and be arraigned in your town because um, they do have Victor Valley Court up there in Victorville. Uh, unless they're going to bring him down here to the San Bernardino Superior Court. It was unclear Thursday who was representing Smith and who could speak on his behalf. Smith remained on administrative leave Thursday, according to Sheriff Shannon Dykus. The department will now conduct an internal investigation and determine whether Smith violated any policies. So he kicked a guy in the head while he was laying down on the ground with his hands out. Well, you know... Um, this is anybody's wondering what this white stuff is I'm gonna just point it out because somebody will ask I rubbed against my house this morning when I outside when I went to get my microphone and uh, I was coming in back in the house and I rubbed against the house and so I got a little bit of white off I don't know <laughs> anyway uh, where did that come from um, I just didn't want you to think I wiped my mouth or something no I rubbed against the, the outside of the house but, um, yeah, but he, this guy's laying on the ground with his hands out, gets kicked in the head. Well, I don't know. He, he, I don't know if he really violated policy or not. It could say in the policy, kick him in the head when they're on the ground because they may jump up. Make sure they stay down. It could say that. Let's look. Shannon Dykus, who's the new sheriff after John McMahon, said in a written statement, I support the decision of the district attorney's office. Our deputies are the finest in the nation, take great pride in their work, and are honored to serve the community. I'm going to get back to that. When we fall short of that commitment, I can assure you we will get in front of the issue and handle it in a manner the public has come to expect of this organization. I want to ensure our community that it is our expectation that deputies respond to any incident professionally and in a manner that's consistent with their training. We know the community's trust is the platform which enables us to do our jobs. The deputy involved in this incident was immediately taken off duty and placed on administrative leave. A criminal investigation is being conducted. This investigation will be submitted to the district attorney. Now, the June 16th incident started around 12.40 a.m. when deputies attempted to pull over Jones on his motorcycle for traffic violations, and it prompted a pursuit. Jones ran several stoplights, went the wrong way on the I-15 freeway, nearly causing head-on collisions, and the department said, before leaving the freeway and ditching his bike near a car dealership. Yes, I mean, this Willie Jones guy is a POS. He's a dirtbag. He is. He's a scum bucket. But that doesn't give the cops the right to run up and kick him in the head when he's face down. I mean, some of you might go, well, he deserved it. Oh, he earned that one, you know, whatever. But look, where do we draw the line then? You know, I mean, you can't play God with, well, this one deserves it. You know, you can't do that because where do we draw the line? Then we got anarchy. We got cops shooting people and going, well, he deserved it, man. No, I mean, unfortunately, we have a justice system in this country, and the justice system is screwed up. That's why she's blindfolded. But we have it in place, and you have to follow it. I mean, we have to follow the law. We have to, you know, go to court and hire lawyers and do the rigmarole and jump through the hoops. They have to do that, too. Law enforcement officers have laws. They have statutes. They have policy, and they have to follow it. And that's not following it. It's kicking a guy in the head when he's down. I don't care what he did. He's a dirt bag. Yeah, he's a scum bucket, but he doesn't... The, the cop has no right to walk up and kick him in the head when he's laying there on the ground. 
That's the, and, and believe it or not, that is the moral burden I carry. That's a burden sometimes. Sometimes I think, man, that dude deserved to get his ass beat. But I have to stand on my morals. I have to stand for what I'm on this channel for on YouTube. Following procedure, following the law, following the broken justice system. That's what I'm about. That's the burden I carry on my back. And so I'm holding the cop at fault on this one. You know, George Floyd wasn't a good guy, but Derek Chauvin is still a murderer. Now on CBS 2 News and streaming on CBS in Los Angeles, a rough arrest caught on video. A surrendered suspect kicked by a San Bernardino County Sheriff's deputy twice. Yeah, this video was certainly alarming. It all started when, as you mentioned, the uh, officers tried to pull the suspect over for a traffic violation in Victorville. Take a look at this video obtained uh, by TMZ. It was shot by a camera from a nearby Toyota dealership in Victorville. Well, it shows a suspect getting out from under a car. Investigators say he was hiding in a parking lot after leading deputies on a high speed chase and then ditching his motorcycle. Well, you can see him slouch over as he makes his way past a couple of parked cars. Eventually, he's confronted by a deputy with a flashlight. The suspect complies, puts his hands in the air, gets on the ground, and that's when the deputy kicks the man in the head twice. In a statement, Under Sheriff Shannon Dykus admits a use of force occurred. I was going to get back to when. The sheriff said, um, you know, that we have the finest uh, deputies in the nation. I will say that San Bernardino County Sheriff's deputies are some of the um, most cordial deputies that, that I, you know, I record a lot of law enforcement, police officers, uh, deputies, CHP troopers, you know, I record you know, a whole lot. And it seems like Ukaipa police, their uh, contracted deputies here are probably the nicest I've met. I mean, we're getting a whole bunch of people in that are being, I think, uh, briefed. Like, hey, there's this guy that records you. His name's Jimmy. Just say hi to him and he'll say hi back and then leave it at that. He's going to, don't, don't, you know, because I give what I get. If you're, if you come off as a jerk to me, guess what? You throw that handball against the wall as hard as you can, it's gonna come right back in your face. But if you softly toss it, it's gonna softly come back and you can catch it. So if you go, hey, Jimmy, what's up, buddy? Hey, how you doing, sir? Or how you doing, ma'am? You know, I mean, um, but I, I do have to say that San Bernardino County Sheriff's deputies are probably some of the most professional that not only I've seen personally, but on video. LA Sheriff's Department, bad. Oh my God, the LA Sheriff's Department, they are feeling a wave I don't even care maybe he's got too many to control uh, NYPD bad Aurora Colorado bad Texas all bad um, but the San Bernardino County Sheriff's deputies I think are some of the most professional that I've actually seen or dealt with yeah I've had a few that I've had to push back a little like the one that told me can you go over there I said dude I'm across the street and behind your car right but you're in my peripheral vision what I mean what are you talking about? Just do your job. That's what I told him. Remember, I said, just do your job, man. You know, um, yeah, sometimes I have to give them a little, you know, but that's not for all of them. That's for the one that, you know, and of course, he shut up. He started doing it. All right. He went back to doing his thing. He did his thing. He saw me. He looked at me and drove off. He didn't care. Um, yeah, you have to give him a little thump sometimes and say, shut up and just do your job, bro. But I think that San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department is one of the finest in, in, in California. I'll say that. Um, sometimes, you know, there's a knucklehead in every department. And it seems that Corey Smith just might be our knucklehead. Now, Dykus went on to say that a security company that monitors the parking lot was the one who alerted Victorville police about the video. Back out here live, the suspect has been identified as 33-year-old Willie Jones. Uh, we're told that he was checked out by medics, booked into jail, and has since been released on bail. He's going to go to court on felony assault under the color of law, and which could lead to civil rights violations. Fourth Amendment. This guy could be looking at some 
some lawsuit and some prison time. His qualified immunity could be melting just like the Wicked Witch of the West. Or was it the East? Hmm. Let me know.